What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Matrix21 back with another video. Your boy finally got his hands on the Jack in the Box or Skeleton Jack and Monster Taco Funko Pops. Uh, I've been wanting this one for a second ever since I saw it now. Well, saw it given away at Fright Night, and I was like, man, I hate I missed that. I wish I could have got it. Then they announced that they were going to be dropping it on Funko.com. So, you know, your boy had to jump on it as soon as it dropped. I had to jump on it, get it, and it sold out pretty quickly, but it was still available for like 30 minutes. So, I don't know. It, maybe they had a lot of them lined up and it just took a minute to sell out, but I had to get this in my hands. But before we get into it, make sure that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. Now let's get to the pop. But like I said, very, very dope pop. The thing about this that really struck my eye is the way they did the box. I like when Funko does different things with the box art and it looks really, really dope. The whole black box with the purple writing, everything about this is really, really nice in my opinion. Something different. It's something out of the ordinary and I, I just like it. Even if I have some of the like worn edges here. I thought my box was damaged, but that's actually in the design right here, right here on this edge. And it looks pretty cool right here as well. I like the way they did that and it just looks dope. Uh, even with the black line right here, they made sure to keep this whole box black with the uh, purple writing, like I said. Look at the back. Here's the back, and here's the actual pops. And it just, it's a really cool box on this one. I got to put this in my Pop Shield armor. I don't know if the price will jump up a lot on this one just because it was shared with the Funko, uh, Funko.com. So we don't know exactly how many of these pops will release. If it had stayed just uh, exclusive to Fright Night, this pop would have been really, really expensive. But I think because they shared it with uh, the Funko shop, I don't know how it's going to go. But I like this pop a lot. I like the, the, the look of this pop a lot. Very uh, nice and I guess it's supposed to be for Halloween, so it's really good looking, good for that. I actually like this Jack in the Box sticker as well. Special edition, Jack in the Box 2-pack, as well as Funko, well, Funko.com exclusive uh, sticker. So definitely dope in my opinion. Uh, just a really cool 2-pack and uh, one I really, really wanted for my collection. Uh, we've seen enough of it in the box, so without further ado, let's get these two bad boys out of the box, see how dope they are, and I'll be right back. Let's go. So before we go deep into it, here's just a look at the box up close. Like I said, very, very cool, very, very dope, and I just like this box a lot. I love all the little extra food and stuff that's in purple in the back. It just gives it more of a, uh, I don't know, just more of a cool aspect or aesthetic of what's going on. Uh, so we got Skeleton Jack, Monster Taco, and now let's get this bad boy open. So we'll start things off with the Monster Taco. Definitely a really different, cool looking pop. It doesn't look anything like a pop actually because even the eyes are a little bit different. Especially with this kind of black eye here. It looks so much different than like a regular pop. Even though the white eyes do look similar. But it looks so different. Uh, it's pretty cool though that they actually went to the extra mile and did something this different. And I like it. Uh, here's the inside of the taco. Got lettuce, a little bit of uh, beef, and uh, I guess taco sauce. Here's the back of it. You do have like little indentions here for like texture, which looks pretty cool. And yeah, just put a little head on them. <laughs> the uh, Jack in the Box head. And it looks pretty cool. Pretty dope. More of the texture on the uh, front of them as well. I guess it has cheese dripping. That's dope. And now let's look at the man himself, uh, Skeleton Jack. Definitely dope. Just Jack in the Box uh, in costume, I guess. I like the way they did the stitching for the mouth, stitching across his head, uh, the little purple head, uh, the little skeleton suit. This would have been even doper if they made it glow in the dark, but I guess, you know, I mean, I guess they went enough. For, they didn't think they had to go all of that, do all of that, but definitely really dope pop overall. And I like it. The details on the actual skeleton uh, costume is pretty nice. Has his thumb up as usual, hand on the hip. And uh, just a really dope overall looking pop. No real paint flaws. Done very, very well in my opinion. I like it. I just like it. So let's get these two in the rotator. Give it one last spin. Then I'll come back and end the video. Let's go.
So once again, this is my review for the Skeleton Jack and Monster Taco Funko Pops. Definitely dope. Definitely something different that I really, really like. I love the way they did the box, and that just really sets it off in my opinion. Just a cool concept and cool design overall. Did a good job with it. No flaws or nothing bad I can say about this pop. I just think uh, it would be a little bit better if it was a little bit more limited. But that's kind of just nitpicking and complaining about something I shouldn't complain about. Uh, I think this is dope, dope overall, like I said, and I'm glad to get this in the collection. That's all I got for you on these, this one, so make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. This is your boy Major21. Peace. Talk to y'all later. Bye.